Hello, 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 and praise the Lord. I pray that you're doing wonderful this morning, this evening, whatever time you are watching this. I'm going to get right into it. Yes. So I'm just showing you something different that I'm doing with my hair. Um, for those of you who have straight hair or maybe the front portion of your hair is a little shorter. Like my hair is longer now. So if I braid it, I don't have to worry about it coming loose in the front. But those of you who your hair is a little shorter and if you try to braid it or even when you use braiding hair, you notice that during, um, you know, over time, the little bits of the hair like come out, like see it some, you know, portions that's just a little shorter. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a box, um, you know, I'm part, um, you know, making my part. Then I am, of course, parting it again and taking, you know, one of my little black rubber bands and you know putting it around that and then connecting it and breaking a braid back so that no you know little shorter pieces that may be in here will come out and it'll just make the front portion of my hair um around the perimeter just look you know fresh for a little bit longer instead of that hair kind of you know coming out and falling out you know of the braids and all that other stuff. so when i'm done all that i will come back so I am finished the front of my hair. I did the little box <laughs> um, all over the front portion of my head. Then I connected and did the braid. So now I'm going to crisscross each one and then just do straight backs in the back so I have sewn everything up fixed everything I honestly think that I made these too big I think that I should have made my parts smaller but hey it is what it is I mean it's done now so I did the same technique that I do every time I do crochets I like add this little string all the way across and I kind of put um crochet you know the hair on it so that it can like hang over and cover over the back since it's so spaced out hopefully this comes out looking right because I made it you know kind of big but it is what it is so you just install these just like you install any other crochet braids and um so i'm gonna get some of these in and just come back and um show you all as i'm finishing so this is what it's looking like so far with me doing those little front pieces like that and um I'm pretty sure like if you did like the connector things where you like put the rubber band and connect it to each one, it could probably look like you have the individual ones as well. Instead of doing all those little plaits all the way down, you could just do the box connector ones and put it through. I wonder what that would look like. Maybe I have to try that one day. But so far, this is what it's looking like. And, um... I had to put me a little orange lip on so I can like, um, they're not heavy at all. Um, feels like I have nothing on my head. So once I fill in this, I believe that's going to be it. Cause I don't want anything like looking super big and thick and crazy. So I'm going to fill this in and okay. So I want to show you something. So it looks like I went right over, you know, the little rubber band and went um, in between there. But I actually didn't because if I went in between there, that would like broke off my hair. So I just want to show you um, exactly what it is that I did. So I'm going to take one of my little locks. And I'm going to, you know, put my hook in. I'm going to like go in through the side, like through the side, but like on the outside of where that rubber band meets. 
and pull it through. And when I pull it through, it's going to look like it's over top of the rubber band. Okay, so I apologize. This is five days in. <laughs> five days in and look y'all i got kids my birth my husband's birthday um was the ninth and just everything i'm, I'm just catching up on everything so <laughs> they're installed and they've been in for five days and um as i showed you in the clips before i did the little rubber band method with which makes it look like you did them individually around the front even though I didn't because you see how it connects but you can't tell instead of you know doing that whole single thing because I tried that first and I have not mastered that technique and especially with these Bobby Boss new locks it was kind of it's hard to unravel not saying that you can't do it or whatever but I ain't had time for that and um but the rubber band method, you just have to really make sure that if you're not going to go under the rubber band, if your hair is longer, you um, you would make it tight, but not super tight, but tight enough to grip all the hair, but kind of slide the rubber band up a little bit so that you have enough room to pull that hair through because you don't want to have it tight and try to do that. You can totally kind of break your hair off and that just is not good so you know i loosened some of them up and pulled it up and some of them i didn't pull it through at all i did it on the side of the box i put the crochet through the side as you saw and looped it and then just took the hair and like pulled it over the rubber band so it looks like you know i put it up under the rubber band but i didn't so um here I am. I'm just going to get rid of some of this excess hair because one of the things it does snag. This is just five days and I did notice that, you know, look, trying to run my fingers through it, it's a lot of extra hair in there that, you know, your hair gets snagged on. Um, with straight hair, that would be an issue. If this was like some straight hair or whatever that would definitely be an issue to not be able to run my hands through it but with these I haven't found that to be an issue because they don't look bunched together they don't look stuck together it does not rise up like straight you know human hair you know would so it being stuck together and me not running my fingers through it for me isn't isn't an issue because it's very easy to pull it apart but they do stick together and it does get a lot of that, you know, excess hair in between. But then you can go with scissors and cut that off. But that little hair that, you know, gets snagged and snatched from, you know, the locks touching, it actually makes the locks look more natural, which is, um, which could be a good thing as well. So I made my parts a little big not realizing that these are you know smaller look how big that part is and look how small you know this is so next time because there will be a next time i might take these out and put them right back in and that's not often for me because i love versatility and i love doing my hair in different ways but i am feeling I'm totally feeling this now the hole is almost non-existent so when I took it out the pack it went on the pack when it comes in the pack it comes um they are all lined up on this little gold rope so what I did while it was still on the rope um I just went ahead and put it through but you can all you can find a hole as well I didn't have an issue with that I showed you all that little line, <laughs> string line that I made so that the hair would fall across the back. And here I'm just adding another one. Also, you, so you all can see how I do it. Again, I just do it like I do any other regular. You would do it how you do any other regular crochets. So I just needed to fill that in. Like I said, I had made the parts a little bit too big. And on this side, I made it way too big. So what I did was I 
sewed, I pushed my braid up and sewed my braid to that braid to make it appear um, like it was less space. And I'm going to show you how I do that over here as well. So, as you can see, like it's that big, huge gap right there. So I'm not, instead of pulling up in the front, I'm going to like lift it up from the middle here. me making my part like super wide and so all the other parts they're okay at this point I didn't really like how it looked in the middle um because I um I don't know why I just I don't know I just feel like with these they look much better on the side even though I probably will rock it um like that you know one of the day one of these days so um you know, so far I'm absolutely loving these. Let me show you the package. So this is the packaging. I purchased this from my local beauty supply store. I brought um, the Bobby Boss New Locks um, in the color number two. And I brought one pack in the color number four, which is a light or lighter brown. And number two is like a natural a natural black so it's not black it's not one it's not a 1b but it's more of a natural black i like the color too because it's softer on um my complexion did the brown just in different parts of my hair throughout the crown and um throughout the bottom so when i move it you can like just see some of them, you know, peeking through. But I still wanted that dark look. So I purchased seven packs, six packs of the color number two and and one pack of the color number four. And I wound up using um, six packs in total. <laughs> they are not heavy. I was surprised when I pulled them up into a ponytail to go to, um, to prepare them for, um, to get in the shower because I didn't want them to get wet. Um, I was like, oh my goodness, they look like it's a lot. They look so heavy, but they are not heavy at all. And that's because in the back, I really spread them out in the back. Like it's not... I didn't fill them in and tight. I filled them in just enough to hide, you know, my braids. But around the front, around this crown area is where, you know, I, I still spread it out. But I spread it out and I did it just like I, I do my single ease twist. You can check that out. I'll link it to the bottom. Like, that's the same type of technique that I used, um with these. How I, you know, really spread it out in the back but made it... You know, so it's just enough so you can't see um, the braids, but the front is where, you know, I filled it, you know, filled it in. And because I wanted that, you know, full look, I am absolutely loving these. Like, I always wanted to know what my hair would look like if I locked it. And um, not saying that it would look like this, because for your hair to be, you know, have this, I guess, density and this fullness your hair would be have to be really nice and thick and my hair isn't really that thick so this gives me the perfect size that I would have wanted if I had dreads so um let me open this so you can see this I'm not taking this back to the beauty supply store because when I do my hair again all I have to do I'm going to use these again but if I ever needed to switch them out I could use this so they're going to come if you look at mine they look a little bit more straight you see how you know crink crinkly these are like 
you know so this is how they looked when they put in which is totally different from what you're seeing over here you see them more straight so i put them in exactly like this and i wasn't i wasn't really feeling how they look like that i felt a little a little i felt just i didn't i just didn't care for that love the texture i love that they look kind of silky i i love that i love you know that look i love the little crinkly look but all of them crinkly on me just i just wasn't feeling Still it has that crinkly look but it's not as crinkly so if you put them in and you're like, wait a minute, they don't totally look like Nicole's. That's <laughs> that's why. Because I took like, see the ones that I just, um, you know, one that I just added. It has, you know, it's like super, it has that, you know, crinkly form. But I stretched it out, blow dried it so that it would, you know, just, I like the more straight, you know, look. And would I just go with a different brand to not even have to worry about that? Maybe one day I will try another brand, but I love how these look. So I would just, it only takes a couple seconds. So I would just, I went through section by section. And, you know, I just blow dry it. I mean, like I said, I love the crinkly look, but not as crinkly <laughs> um, as it as it came, you know, right, right here, which would still be very gorgeous. But that's just not the look I was going yeah. for. I used all six packs in my head and um, the seventh pack I didn't have to use at all. So I used the color. I used one number four and five number two packs. Um, in my hair now my hair is very my scalp is very dry I don't know what took place to where though my hair is so my scalp is so dry so of course the crochets help me to get in there moisturize my moisturize my head and my scalp and all the other stuff and I'm just going to um, quickly do that I get this blue magic coconut oil hair conditioner um, from Walmart <laughs> But that's basically it for um, these. I'm absolutely loving them. I will come back with an update on them. This video is not sponsored. Nobody sent me these. I was in the store like, oh my goodness, do I want these? Or do I want to do a weave? Because I definitely was not putting on another lace 
closure or lace front for right now because my scalp was so dry from me just putting it on putting it on putting it on and not taking care of my um of my of my scalp the way that I should have moisturizing my hair and I ain't got time to be got to be gluing it <laughs> I ain't got the time and you know I just was like no I'm over it and then I was like I, I had been for some time wanting to try the um crochet locks but none of them looked natural enough for me like they look like spring shirley simple curls and all this other stuff so you know i waited until you know they start perfecting them i knew they would get it you know how we do our little youtube research and i saw a couple of people and um, i was like that's it right there that's it right there um going with those I'm gonna do that and these are the ends which look so natural they look so natural yeah and when I blow dry them it made it a little bit longer as well and I'm five seven so if blow drying these they come to bra strap level but as you put them in as you can see like they're gonna come layered they're not gonna even though they're 18 inch because they're twisted it's not going to literally be 18 inch because this right here is about what 14 inch 6 14 inch or something like that so when you put them in the back the back ones will be kind of closer to a true 18 inch but once you blow dry them out you know they'll be kind of layered and whatever like that so yeah, I wanted to hurry up and finish this for you all. I wanted to come back, you know, with my face all done and a cute top and just give you all the whole shebang. But I said, I, let me get this done. Let me get this done. Let me come on here, you know, while I'm getting ready to leave out and just show you all what it is. Um, so there's no longer a delay. So, okay, this is basically it for my very long review. These Bobby Boss new locks, they are just, I love them. I've gotten so many compliments on them already. And some people was like, you know, looking like you could tell from around the front, you know, here or whatever that they're crochet. But it was like, I ain't even almost know, but they'll let you know. Girl, I almost didn't even know they were crocheted. And some, some, you know, they didn't know. Like, oh my goodness, your locks are beautiful. And I just can't lie. You know, some people would just say thank you. I mean, you can just say thank you. That doesn't mean that you're lying. But, you know, they was like, your hair is grown so long and you got it locked. And I was like, these are crochets. Like, what? Can you do mine? So, but everybody wants them singles. I ain't about that single life. I'm like, mm, I do the, I do the, I do the corn roll crochets. Like, I'm not about, I'm not about that life. But okay, I hope you all enjoyed this um, video, and um, until my next one, be blessed.